Recently, I made a video showcasing all of the combos for getting potentially infinite attack in Inscription. Or at least I thought I did, but it turns out that I missed one. And it's definitely a weird one, but here is yet another infinite combo in Inscription. So to do this, you'll need a card with one attack and all of the following sigils. Airborne, Mighty Leap, Burrower, Corpse Eater, and of course, Unkillable. So I'm going to use the Mole Man since he already has two of those sigils and then I just edited the save file to give him the rest of the sigils. And also I buffed his attack by one at a campfire event. You're also going to need the Hook item or the Wise Clock item. And then once you get into any battle, you'll have to stall until you run out of cards and then again until Leshy summons a ninth Starvation card. And by stall, I don't mean that in the usual sense, since this Mole Man is the ultimate stall card, and you pretty much can't take damage while you have a card like this, since he blocks every single attack as long as your field is empty. Instead, you have to stall by making sure not to defeat Leshy before he gets to that ninth Starvation card. And since the Mole Man has to have Airborne and one attack, you may have to sacrifice the Mole Man a couple of times to make sure that it doesn't damage Leshy. The reason we only have to worry about this, specifically until we get to Leshy's ninth Starvation card, is because the way that Starvation works is, after you run out of cards, Leshy summons a Starvation card, and then on each following turn he summons another one with an additional attack and health point, and the 5th Starvation Onward will also have the Airborne Sigil, which is why we need the Mighty Leap Sigil, and once Leshy gets to his ninth Starvation card, he also just adds a point on your side of the scale, which is also why we need to have that one attack and Airborne on our Mole Man in the first place. We've already established plenty of times that Leshy is a cheater, uh, but for more proof look no further than this interaction, as Leshy just puts a point of damage against you on the scale every turn from this point forward for absolutely no reason. And if it wasn't for that, our Mole Man would make it impossible to take any damage whatsoever. And so, to keep on pace with this one damage per turn that Leshy deals, we need our Mole Man to also attack him directly for one point of damage per turn, and then at this point, this battle can go on forever, since both players are only doing one damage per turn, and also each turn, Leshy summons a stronger Starvation card with higher stats. So at this point, you've reached the loop, and all you have to do is keep hitting the bell to end your turn, your Mole Man will do 1 damage to Leshy, and then he'll do 1 damage to you uh, himself, and then he'll summon a stronger Starvation and attack. Mole Man will block all of his attacks, and then you repeat this loop until the Starvation card has whatever attacks that you want. Then, finally, you would steal it from Leshy using the Hook or Wise Clock item. And so, there you go, that's another combo for getting a card with whatever attacks that you want. This one's a weird combo, as it requires you to pass turns like the Hodag combo, and also, I think this is the only combo that requires you to use an item, uh, not counting the hammer, of course. It's also really interesting because it uses the Mole Man of all cards and makes the ultimate infinite defense card in order to somehow end up with an infinite attack card. So, that's all for now. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.